Hello viewers, Tesseract from Odyssey here, just bringing you an update from the test server where we now have DLC 9 War of the Light Part 1 on. This video is just going to be going over the various feats that are going to be in this DLC, as well as the styles that have been added. So to look at the feats to begin with, um, there's a couple of issues that we've noticed with these so far, so they may not be the names that uh, they are on the, the DLC when it goes live. Um, seems like the usual amount of about two and a half skill points that you get. Very few grindy feats. Um, most of them tend to be uh, feats for achieving certain uh, effects in um, some of the operations. So let's look at the various uh, feats that we've got added to the game. To look at the styles, this is the uh, Green Lantern inspired style that heroes can purchase from the vendor. Um, this is the one that you've previously seen tweeted by Yen. One of the things to note about it is that the back item, uh, as you can see here, there's an emblem on the back. That is in fact the back item, so if you don't like that emblem on the back or if you want it on something else, you can change it and uh, have something else there. Um, the other thing to know about these vendors is that you can buy the vestments of the Rage style as well, which is the uh, the Red Lantern inspired set. So we'll just have a look at what that looks like. So this is the Rage inspired style here. Um, to have a look at the gear in the vendor then. This is all item level 90 gear at the moment, um, and it's the, well, it's the gear I'm wearing at the moment, so you won't be able to see a huge amount of difference in stats. Um, this top set is DPS gear, of course, um, and there is a precision set and a might set, as we've come to expect. There is also mask, uh, necks, rings, and a trinket, um, as well as weapons to the very bottom. Um, for heroes, the vendor set is the, the Inspired by Green Lantern set. For villains, they have their own uh, Inspired by the Sinestro Core set, um, which we'll give you a look at in a moment as well. The other thing to note in these vendors, though, is that uh, right at the very bottom of it, you shall get um, styles, style vendors. Um, 
these styles are uh, they don't have any stats attached to them and the style is Vestments of the Rage which we've shown you is the Red Lantern inspired set. Now that set is the style that drops in the uh, 8 man operation. Um, presumably uh, it's just being released here as it's been a constant request by people that they sell styles in vendors so that we don't have to constantly farm for them. So this is the first time that we've actually seen them implement this in the game. Um, in the four-man operations, the style that we're dropping is in fact Avatar Infiltrator, as you can see. This is the, the loot that I received from the two four-man operations that we ran earlier on. Uh, two masks, um, one from each op, and uh, the, the backs were from uh, two different ops as well, and we have the head and the shoulders. Um, fortunate enough to get a fair few of the controller bits there as well. Um, so that should make com completing the Avatar Infiltrator style um, far easier. The other thing about the gear that drops in the raids, it's the gear that drops the vestments of rage, is uh, although it is the same item level, um, it does in fact have better stats than your standard gear that you buy from the vendor. So this here is the back that I got as a drop from the operation. Um, and you can see there that it's an increase in health and vitalization stats from the vendor bot here. Um, but the item level is exactly the same. And lastly, whilst the heroes get the Scion of Ion style, the villains instead get Disciples of Parallax, which you can see here. <laughs>